Hello and welcome to Dyson Sphere, Sphere program. A game that's been out a week or just over a week now. Doing really well, good game, good reviews for those who follow the reviews. I personally go by my own personal opinion. So I've played around a little bit. Um, let's go with the, with the seed, shall we? Should we go with the, with the date? The end of uh, January 2021. I mean, doesn't look that good, does it really? Oh, middle mouse button to turn. Uh, looks different, very spread out. I only got 4M star types and got 11K. You know, mm. I'd, I'd like to have four, uh, more M star types. There's our um, white dwarf. We got two of them apparently. Yeah, the other ones up there. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's change that to zero one of the second of the first. Apparently you can't. Oh, you can put zero one zero two 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 uh, two zero two one, and and that one's more like you. I'd prefer that one. Yeah, a bit more claustrophobic, if you like. Uh, we'll go with default values for everything, and we'll start and get going. And we'll have a cutscene. Well, kind of cutscene. Guy will start talking, and I'm going to mute my mic and let you enjoy. So, enjoy the cinematics. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Must get really hot, man, huh? passing the sun that close. Jeez. Jupiter, Mars, and Earth just behind. Everything you. here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. That part I don't have to do. I can just sit back, enjoy, give you a um, look of the planet. So we're going on to uh, Zubra 4. We've got Zubra 1 over there. Zubra 2. I guess they more like uh, our kind of planet. That must be the M class. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Yep, and that we are. We're going to land on the light side. That's good to know. We'll look, coal down there. Uh, not coal, copper. And we're going we're way past it to the iron. We got copper nearby. We got another iron deposit just off to the right. meet our mecca. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecca with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. We will, okay. It's WASD, not directional keys. Uh... Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right click on it to recycle. Okay. All right. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, 
etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. There you go. So uh, you've re you've seen all of that information, so that you can pause it and go and read it at your own leisure. I wasn't going to read it for you, sorry. Just not my style. I I'll read occasionally, but not all the time. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view, or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So, we, this is going to be used for our fuel to power our suit um, here, as you can see our energy is gaining lower the more that we do. We, if it gets to zero we won't die or freeze and not be able to do anything. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. Alright, I think we are enough 24. Get some stone while we're here. Because that always comes in handy. <laughs> um, so you, you, you can't, you ain't gonna die just because you ran out of power. Oh look, we got oil right here as well. So we got everything, literally coal as well. So we got everything nearby. Perfect. Oh, I say perfect, but the problem there is one downside to that. It means everything's on top of each other, which isn't good. So we'll probably use that iron over there before we use this one. They're gonna know. No, we probably will use this car. We'll see. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to get the energy down on the um, on um, our our mecha, so we can get that part of the tutorial out of the way. But also collecting fuel while I'm at it. So how much does that have? 1.31. Not bad. Hmm. We could very well end up with. Energy more. is required in all mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. Mm -hmm. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. I know you can't see because of this, but we'll um, we'll just do that. All right, so we don't want that, and we don't want that. There, ah, done. Yep, you can go away now. is no oil over that way that I can see. Probably is some, but we can always just go M and um. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button, drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the north pole. Hmm. In the planet view mode, slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. Just seeing if there's anywhere else that might be a good place to start. Because, I mean, this isn't too bad down here. Either. Plenty of iron and... You know... Maybe. But only that one patch of copper.
Well. Hmm. Anyway. <coughs> so we've got to build some of these anyway. Um, which we can do by piecing this. And we can automatically smelt the ores within our suit. Don't ask me how. We rep we've got a built-in replicator, you know, we're, we're good. So we need uh, 10 of these, which these are two. For each one that you craft, you get two. So we can increase this to five and we'll have 10 of them ready to go. And you can see it counting down there and it's now doing the, the science tech for us. And what we want is to be able to build a mine. <coughs> So that we can automate, get some automation going around here. Um, and he's going to talk now, by the way. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory, or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. For those who didn't see the line at the bottom because of the, uh, the information. So we've read all of that. Yeah, we've seen all of that. Yep, okay. Now, Factorio, you'd press E and you'd go from here, you know, and, and, and whatnot. You, you've actually got it all down here, which is handy. Right, so where do we, and, and then it's a grid built system. So, you know, you, you've got that. Where do we want to go? We... If we use this, we're just going to pump it straight out somewhere else and we won't do any oil processing here. Because it's going to get so cramped in here. We'll probably use this just for smelting only. And uh, probably transfer everything much further away because we'll want to do steel or um, yeah we want to do steel as well so what should we do we start with this one and have our um, of our iron smelting area up here. Well, let's see. Let's see how we can... Let's just kill some trees around here. start talking again. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grit snapping, try holding down the shift key. That looks good to me. And then our drone jumps out of our backpack and um, builds it for us, which is awfully kind of him. Now we need to supply it with power. One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. We're on it, don't worry. We just you have it. done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. Already ahead of you there. So wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. As you can see, I kind of done it the opposite way around that the tutorial would tell you. But anyway, um, as you can see, this would be our consumption, and then the outer is our production. So. 
this one can power this and just about power this and the furnace together uh, they they don't really give out much much power um, 300 kilowatts you know but anyway um, and we can click on it and uh, shift click and that is now all in our inventory which is a bonus and ideally we'd want another one so we're going to uh, build another one and we're going to build a another wind turbine and another one of them and we'll try and keep our wind turbines together and then just stretch the um, Tesla around to where we want it so let's get this one in place um, we want to try and come at it from that angle and then the question is if we put one over here would we be able to get all of the others and the answer is not really won't we? see that's as close as we can build it to here to, uh, to that one so let's get um, another two of them we only need one to hook this up or should do but you know we'll go with uh, with the two no, actually, we will need to. Oh well. That should now be powered. No? Really? You're in the. Okay, fine. You wanna be fussy? Oh, well, that's how you de demolish something, by the way. There. And as you can see, mine's a lot quicker than I can. Noisy as well. Right. So if we um, if we press T, we can see all of what we uh, what we can uh, research. And yeah, there's there's a lot. And you know, you've got your 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 basic logistics um, going across here which obviously we want logistics we can queue them up which is a bonus we'll also want to be able to smelt them so we will do that one and we'll also want to be able to get into science but we're not going to focus on that one just yet because we want to be able to actually automate construction of certain things so we'll be going down that path we'll leave the um, science part till another video <coughs> so for this one we're going to get up and running um smelting of copper and iron and production of um, the things that we will need to then automate science so oh yeah by the way um these and all of the tech there's all of this which is your suit basically and then a load of information about your 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 um your suit and or your mecha um, and, and then a video on you know power management and because you're on a, a planet that line is not necessarily straight as you'll find out when we're laying a belt it's um, quite interesting if you uh, 
if you have to have everything look perfect and straight and whatever in line your OCD will definitely kick in All right so we now need to make 10, ge uh, 10 gears and 8 circuit boards so back into here or you can just press A um, no you can't my bad um, F yeah anyway so we will go here and we'll get and it's a one to uh, a one to one ratio for the gears so we want 10 of them then we want um, and again it's a one to one ratio or two to one for iron but it's a one to one ratio for copper so we want 10 of them and um, and we just wait and while that's doing that we'll decide where we're going to do the furnace set up I'm thinking it'll have to be probably up here for copper and uh, maybe next to it opposite on the opposite side iron like the two furnace setups running along here and then copper and iron coming off behind and going either whichever direction that we choose to expand our factory because ideally we, I don't think we want to come down here because of this and these will deplete over time and to my knowledge if you place another one of these say here that these even though they're showing us being locked to this one I, I do believe that they can share as the wood in um, Factorio but once we've got belts going in fact we should grab because um, we're going to need a lot of belts so we should grab um, the iron and basic logistic system so we now got belts and our filter um, our sorter and storage crate you have received the sorter and the conveyor belt which can achieve full automation now use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Now, uh, FYI on belts, I don't know. If when you can... putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Okay, thank you. So, unfortunately, it's not you go like uh, Factorio from point A to point B, because you'll go in any direction they want, you know. So, you that that isn't necessarily correct. But one thing with the belt is the way that you place it is determining the and these drones are using my energy but it determines the way that the belt will run so yeah and uh, you do get all of your resources back by the way <coughs> but the the drones uh, are using your power supply to uh, to be able to go and do what they have to do so should we well, if we bring copper straight up here I think that should work right we should get some belts being built actually um, oh we need 10 of them now uh, so we need another 5 oh we got 5 set there and then we got 10 of them already um, we need belts because they don't give you enough so that will do um, and then uh, we'll take that copper out of there and this uh, this iron out of this one All right let's because uh, we're going to need to build also some furnaces I mean they do give you a bit but this ain't going to be enough for what we need and um, and we, we're okay on mines and we're okay on this but we can't smell yet we're going to be able to soon enough but um, we won't be using this just yet and now we can 
smelt in which we do get the um, the smelt the, the furnace here we get given two or three of them so yeah anyway let's uh The, the, it all, it all automatically fly when he needs to fly. There we go, we ran out of belts to do that. So you don't actually have to clear the area. The, if there's something that you're building and it's on something, it'll automatically remove it. See, we've learned something new. Right, we need uh, 10 gears now. Ten of them, and then we need ten of them. How are we doing on iron? We're getting a bit low. The further you have your drones fly, the more power that you'll be consuming as well. We run out of resources in there. There we go. Copper's now running. <coughs> And what we will have happen is um, we'll have it on this side, I think, like so. It's you built a smelter, which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously you need to use sorters and conveyor belts if you're wondering what there is that's going to be copper coming out iron coming out iron going iron ore going up and unlike Factorio, we can walk on the belts without being taken elsewhere. The, the sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. Thank you. These have a, a reach of three, so they can reach, um, but I don't think you'll be able to reach all the way over to that track. But we can. So the direction that you pour it is the direction that it'll go so for this we want it to take um we want it to take the ore and put it in and then we want to take the the plates out and put them on to that track so that's all set up now just needs power we need uh we don't need any copper we do need some iron though <clears throat> because we're going to need to make even more tracks. Right. Because we have none. Amazing. We used them all. And so they're having to, he's smelting the, the, the iron ore now. And so we may as well take that as well, just in case. We have nothing in power, nothing in here. We've still got three of them left. And we've got two furnaces and we've got one assembler ready to go. coming out now um, about there because this one we don't want to gain the way Do we have 
have anything on us. We do. There you go. Obviously, the, the, the dip, you can put different things in, so I could put coal in there, which we don't stick that for coal in, because, yeah. And there's the iron coming out. Really? Come on, hurry up. Yeah, build these ones first. That isn't even joined. And the reason I'm starting here is so we can expand if we need to, to be able to do um, all of this. <coughs> um, we know we, we want to put a furnace down, don't we? And should we keep them in line? Hopefully, the, uh, the this can pick up off, uh, off the belt. So you can't pick up that way, but you can pick up that way. Okay. So you can go there and you can go there. Because of it being curved, unfortunately. Right. We also need to use iron ore to make magnets. So, um, yeah. And we need to tell you what we want it to do, of course. Forgot about that part. So you will be doing that, and you will be doing plates as well. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe, and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Mm -hmm. We're only going with one factory, uh, one smelter for each one at the moment, so don't worry. All right. Let's get more iron out of here. We're okay for copper, aren't we? Here we are. And uh, let's get let's get a few of them. In fact, how are we doing on power? Well, well, we won't really know until these kick in, but we will need more of them, won't we? We'll best build a couple just to be on the safe side. We're still building transfer belts. One. I haven't got all day. Seeing that the belt decided it wants to turn. Which doesn't make sense when you consider that belt is perfectly straight. But it's following that line. But that one line straight. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. It will work. That's all that matters. So this is now doing, I can literally just walk up into here and grab the iron out of here. And the copper out of here. The plates are already done. And uh, I can drop or in, I should be able to, yeah. So, which will be easier to just grab the plates. Now the question is, power wise, we're okay for now. Right. So now that we've got that part all set up, we want to bring these 
straight down and over over this uh, machine <coughs> and and then down uh, down here to somewhere around here where we will process the uh, the ore. I know I said we wasn't because of this but we're going to probably here where we'll process it actually so we're going to need uh, a lot more belts what does it take to make a belt uh, iron and gears okay well iron and gears it says in that case let's go um, no, we don't need that. We just need this. Let's go with one of these. Let's build. You have a building without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Happy? Done. I go away. Yeah, uh, we've already seen that, so that can go as well. Right. That's uh, that one about there. No, not about there. No, that, that's fine. It's, it's got power. It's just uh, we're we're consuming too much power now. So we we need to put some of these down. Thank you. Um, do we have anything that we can? We have nothing to burn. Okay, well, that ain't good. Let's uh, let's rectify that. I right, get off the. one we no plants shall live right. now we've got a bit of um, stuff to burn so we're waiting on our um, We'll take them. You ain't hooked up yet. We better hook you up. Uh, that one. All right. You will no. Wrong way. You there, and you across to that one. And once that's backed up, it will start filling in in here, which is fine. All right. Can you do me some more? You can. All right. We're going to need more than that as well, but we're going to set up a temporary thing uh, mm. here. Uh, wrong one. We want you. Um, let's have you directly behind. We only have one of them, don't we? So we do need another one. Um, we need iron. Of course we need iron. We always need iron. And um, we need another one of them as well. We'll have. We can't. Oh, you're too close. Move away. To about there. We'll have you transfer force into there. Um, and we will have you making gears. And there we go. So it'll be a lot faster to get this process done. So let's cancel uh, some of this. We'll aim build them thirty. Yeah, we're definitely going to need uh, more of these 
and apparently more iron. Oh no, sorry, more copper. Um, my bad. <laughs> it's actually ore, because <laughs> it's magnets we need. Yeah, we did need copper, but we need that. Now we can make some of them. Um, let's make six. Nine. And what are you doing? I, I want you to get that. Kill that. Thank you. And we're going to need another one of. Actually, we'll need another two of them. And. Anything in store in here that we can go for? Are you? No. Blue tank. Um. No. Okay. Yeah. Get out of there. Press all the buttons until you find the one that works. But we had one of them. Anyway. Go well, you there. Did you build that yet? No, you did not. What are you building? Oh, you're building them now. Good. You across to there. That's an interesting direction. And you across to there. And we'll have you building belts. We gotta power you first. This one on the coast. Alright. Truly, that's enough power for everything there. What do you mean you're not in the power grid? You are. You're like right between them both. Just being awkward, aren't you? There. Happy? Now start sending our gears over. Thank you. And you can build our tracks. And while you're building tracks, we will build one of uh, one of our storage boxes, and then another one of them. No. You built a storage, which can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. Okay, we actually want uh, a couple of them. Yeah, I want that door. Thank you. There. So that should work for now. Just a temporary setup. So let's uh, work out. We ain't going to join these two together just yet. We're going to go from here and, uh, and bring it to about there. And then um, bring it back down to uh, ground level. She's about there. That'll work. And we could have made a loop here and then just brought them back around this way, but 
Where's the funny in there? It's actually going up one later than the other one, isn't it? Oh well. Don't like it. Sorry. But. Still coming down too late. Remember OCD? Uh, there you go. Um, we'll find something else for you to burn soon enough, don't worry. Um, yeah, you can close now. from you that one uh, get one side done and the other side goes that uh, yeah I'm not done yet case of fix this side oops broke the wrong track um, you fix that there we go Finally. Yeah. Looks weird because there's no support underneath them. But it works. I ain't too fast. Right, let's uh let's bring these back down to earth. There. And, uh, and let's get them. You know what would actually most likely be advised? Keep clicking the wrong one. Probably build uh, another one of them. Um, and one of them. All right. 
That really uses your pure fuel though when you do that. close as I can. That's the closest oil patch, isn't it, for iron, uh, for coal. Um, let's send our power walls um, for a bit with uh, with some coal. Everything's just going to be here, isn't it? The best place. But ideally, I'd want to get that corner one there. To get that, I lose two over that side. Oh well, we'll have to be there. And, um, power. Thank you. Now we are. Um, now we have uh, a fuel supply. I normally carry a uh, like in my test game where I was just messing around. I carried a stack of coal with me all the time, just in case. I just meant that. If uh, if I hadn't got any of this crap on me, I could um, I could go and do what I needed to do. All right. Could we get a third belt there? Run in. We should be able to get a third belt in there, shouldn't we? Yeah, we can. Perfect. All right, we need uh, we need something. We need a, uh, we need a, do we need a furnace? Yeah, we do need a furnace. Um, probably two would be best. And then we're going to need uh, a couple of, four of them. We'll need a more than that, but, um, We'll just go with four for now. So, how do we do this one there? One there? That would work, wouldn't it? Carry the belt from there. Yeah. Iron in and then out onto this belt. Same for you, and then out onto that belt. And what we want on here is magnets. Um, right this time. Come on builder. And you. Thank you. No. 
to there and then bring you down. Perfect. Alright. <clears throat> so now we've got everything that we'll need for science. For the blue uh, crystals to be, or the blue um, packs to be built, and with that, we will need. Should we go to? What was uh, you take? Yeah, you take two of them. So we need two. But you only, yeah, uh, you only make one, so. No, you make two of them as well. Anyway, it'll be fine. So, we have our production facility over this way, somewhere. further forward but can you go off that bell that's what you need oh we 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 need some of them any more I mean we've got 480 belts so you can perfect right and you would be making them which means that you want steel uh, iron and copper making one but I made four of these um, apparently not but and you should be able to um, run one do the same right good so and then you will be set to make them I know, copy and paste, but... Right. Let's grab wherever the first belt is and pick that one up. Same with the um, second belt and the uh, Third belt. Where are you going? And uh, we got anything that we can burn? We haven't, so you'll have to have coal in there. <coughs> and then all we have to do is get the stuff out and into our science production area which we'll have to decide where we're going to have 
that. And we could always have it. Well, maybe. Uh, and of course, we've got to get the stuff over to wherever we're having it. Could have science there. It'd be a long way to get the belts, but I mean, may as well spread it out a bit rather than having it all compact and then. Um, Because once it's all up and running, you haven't got a babysit it or do anything. <coughs> and with upgrades, you can increase the speed of these drones and the amount that you have, which is even better, and your speed of your mecha. So there's a lot to do that you can uh, get going with. And I mean, in reality, we could have been doing some. Um, because there's some that require like that one which will give us a mecha core a few more bits for power can't do this one just yet uh, we can't do that one or that one um we can't do that one or that one we can do that one which will unlock a drive engine but do we really want to be able to fly not yet because well it'll become a, a thing and then I'll be like, yeah, let's fly there, and then burn through all the power that I've got. And these are the more expensive ones, so we're not even going to look at them. Um, other than this, is there anything that we can do that... Uh, well, that would unlock that. It requires 50 of them blue crystals so we should go with this to unlock the crystals and unlock the science lab right you burnt through all of that well let's go and pick up some coal then I know I could have killed all them trees there, but... Where's the fun in there? <clears throat> Let's throw that in there. And grab a bit more on our way back. Looks good. I like seeing the belts filling up. Alright. Now we need to supply this all with power. And we probably got, yeah, very little power. So if we put you there. Um, we need to set you up so you can actually grab off the belts, don't we? Uh, come to think of it. So you need iron and copper, which are the furthest from you. Um, oh, wrong way. You win. And you. No, not that one. My bad. Mm. Uh, you. opposite side we need these and iron was it no but copper okay so we need you in and then we need you in there there we go they will take in but they won't put out yet because we need to set up the belt for that the output of them. So we'll have you there. And whoop. 
goes out like so. And then we'll do the same on the opposite side. Perfect. Right, we need uh, should we fill the cogs stuck going down this way with more of these? We could do, couldn't we? Well, we could. I say we could, but we couldn't really. We could get seven of these and only two of those, but we'll get two of those and one of those. Yes, I know we're in desperate need of um, of resources here. Let's, let's take 50 of that. Do we have any copper on us? We have copper, it's just iron. Yeah. Like I said, it's always iron. <clears throat> May as well take that as well. And that is science all bundled up for the blue packs, which we have to research. Now we've already researched. No, we haven't. We got research because we need to build the stuff. So we need ten of those and ten of those. And uh, so let's knock that back by five of those and five of those. power down here as well but oops seriously jeez we're running out of power too fast There is ways of improving your power, don't worry. It's not always going to be like this. It does add a, a, an interesting concept to um, the game.
truly that should be enough power for a while. You may as well kill that one, seeing it's all there on its own, and that one, and that. Right. And that. And that stone. Now, I want to, um... I want to get this. Uh, through that gap. Actually, I don't want to do it from there, though, do I? I want to think of it. Because if I want to expand this, I would want, um... I'd want it to be somewhere down here, like uh, here. Can you give me that? Knock that one back one as well. these ones first <coughs> why are you going all the way down there you got like three right by you drones never never trust them right I'll just stand here then done okay <sighs> because why not? Um, now you haven't burned through it all yet, that's good. You want to get this corner done first before you try and tackle them over there. Well done. Now I'll just stand here. And there we go. 
a snake of uh, of magnetic coils, are they called? Yeah, and circuit boards. All ready for our um, our science lab that we're going to put. Um, like uh, yeah, followed by a matrix lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You could upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Yep, we know. So your lab does uh, everything, basically. Um, and so this one will create them. That's what it needs. Then it will offload them into the storage. This one, on the other hand, will use them and uh, and produce the uh, the uh, burn them to make to, to to research the whatever technology that we're trying to go for. But we are in desperate need of um, power. But instead of wasting time making the stuff that we're going to need to make these, we're going to grab, because these aren't being consumed at the moment, we're actually going to grab uh, these from there. Because, well, it would make sense, right? And then when we come to making all of these, we can make a, a lot more. Why are we making them like that? Make me turn of them. So we just gotta make the gears, but that's fine. But we will uh, run the power down now. Um, we'll try and keep it so it uh, overlaps slightly. So if we do expand this all the way down, which we won't shouldn't do anyway. If we did, we um we wouldn't have to worry so much. Now that's making our crystals and uh, quite fast, but we can uh, we can go into here and build another two of them, and we can actually build these faster. But doing so, we're putting more strain on our system and the how fast we're gain stuff down there to be uh, well being processed to being sent back down this way but we can stack up to three high because we need to uh, we need to get the level to be able to go any higher but now we're making three at a time and already we have ten in there And an introduction into the power. With the fastest sorters on there, by the looks of it. And they've got red, uh, blue, red and yellow going down. Anyway,
that science all up and running. So we could happily click on here and decide what we want to go for. And probably go for... Where's that motor thing gone? There. Go for there. Yeah, wrong button. So you can see that that will start counting down as we're making the packs and as they're being used. So as they get used, this will count down. In here, we've got more than enough to cover that. And now it's just a case of balancing what we've got up here and what we've got down here to match what we need there. But we won't know straight away until uh, a little bit later on. And we need to put more power down. Okay. And there's the uh, the big gas giants over there. going this way for now. No? You're not going to let me do that one? Okay. Can we reach from here? We can't. Damn. Uh, yeah. Still not perfect. But. Uh, what we were. Too close. Yeah, I figured that one out. Now we should be okay. And we've got the magnetic drive. Which means that in upgrades we can um, go for... What was it? Not you. Not you. Or you. You. So we could move that one meter faster. we got to just make 60 of them. And uh, wrong button, wrong button, that one, F, I, and what do they require? Well, quite a bit of stuff, we can make 22. So, let's take the 20 out of that one, and the 20 out of that one. That one ain't got any in. So we might need to throw another one of these on because it might not be able to keep up. But circuit wise it is easily. Right. Um, which could mean that we might need to put more into the um, electric, um, into the, the magnets. So that's always fun. We can still only make 24. I guess, yeah, we're almost out of iron. That ain't good. <coughs> but we can take them turn. Copper isn't keeping up, as you can see. So we need to uh, we need to rectify that. We need more furnaces. Uh, 
and to be on the safe side we should definitely put one on iron as well because even though it's kind of keeping up you can see it's gain their way mm. and I like to see my belt full oh not there go away now the question is we need more of them as well not ten though five will do and we need to uh, sort that out right. and you will be doing iron you copper as well here normal right that should um, should be enough right you think Let's see if it how fast it's backing up it's definitely backing up yeah that's more than enough Iron won't be completely full, but it should. Yeah. That's fine as well. So we need... Uh, right. We was going to do something, wasn't we? I have to have totally forgot what we was going to do. The one thing we're going to do is grab that. Not because we need it, but because it's best to have it. Um, oh yeah, we was going to make motors. We can make 66, perfect. Um, and I just go all. Apparently not. There. That's why I built this um, as a modular system. Like if I wanted to do more of uh, more electric, uh, electric um, magnetic coils, uh, mag magnet magnets even. I could put them on this side and then have it drop and then join up to but as you can see the um, magnets are more or less keeping up if we have to expand down there then we will but then again no we will have to expand here just thinking about it oh well I think we could get one in there but we see Or not. Now we'll have one of them. Um, how are we doing on? Oh, okay. We got three. That's uh, that's enough. What are we building at the moment? Still a motors. Okay, we'll be here for a little bit. <coughs> Got 29 to go. Well, 
while we're waiting we'll marvel at what would be a sunrise this looks amazing the devs are uh, definitely doing a, a really nice uh, thing with this game and I can understand why the planets aren't huge I mean gives you reason to have to go to other planets if they made them big then you just build all your factory on one planet and you just send everything from the other planets to that planet but you might not necessarily do that you might decide that you want to have one planet that's a production planet one planet that's dedicated to research and one that's dedicated to uh, mining ore you know, and then other planets that are specialised in certain ores that aren't available on uh, certain on the, the other planets. We're almost there. <coughs> it's going to be a tight squeeze, isn't it? I don't think one will fit in. But then again. We wouldn't be able to get past that, would we? So we'll have to put it here. Maybe we could move there and put one there and one there, but. Mm, that wouldn't be a problem. Which means that we could move this one then to maybe. Well, I don't know. How much have we got in there? Yeah. I, I don't think we need to worry about transfer belts for a while and now we can move that a little bit faster not massively faster but you know just a little bit but we're still making motors at the moment on the last three and now we can make our furnace finally Come on. Oh, bring one. Uh, yep, yeah, one there. And... Build that bed. Build. No, we want you that way. And then you. Boom. And you will make us um, them. And then you'll need power. Of course you'll need power. No. You just happen to be in that one little gap that needs power. But... That's already for... And we could theoretically take this off. And have these doing iron. And then have all the way down here doing these, so they're just. And that is a possibility. Or an, an option, even, not a possibility. We'll see. But. Can't reach. Yeah, we ain't even using anywhere near the amount of ore, uh, ore that we can process and we've got how many in here now 612 you know that that's so that this has been a Dyson sphere and an amazing game um, not long ago definitely worth picking up if you're into factorial satisfactory might be your kind of game it's enough difference between the them two particular games in this one to make it its own take on factory building and and it gets more um, interesting later on when um, well remember the system 
All them stars. Yeah, all them planets we can go to. We can fly to, we can... We can set up um, our own factories on them and then have them shipping resources to us. So, there is that. Like I said, it gets more complex and more interesting. But, for now, I'm going to call it and uh, and thank you all for watching hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the follow button if you want to see more and be notified when I go live when as in not very often and uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up if you liked what you saw and until next time catch you all later